this uh, new calls show up right uh, follow all these uh, tools which i explained to you voice of customer analysis voice of business analysis probably cost cost of poor quality i'll talk now uh, nothing works or uh, you're not you're uh, not uh, you know, able to use all these things and probably then you please call for a meeting right and that's called a brainstorm now that now definitely you will be able to do uh, create a list of issues now ctq tree because see you ctq tree is nothing but a tool that can help you to drill down the voice of the customer into measurable metrics right measurable metrics helps you to you know take actions right so because when you actually look at the customer requirement it is always vague very vague if you ask your customer uh, what do you what do you expect then they will say sir i expect a world class quality i expect a quality product but what do you, what do they mean by quality so the statements customer uh, statements are generally vague and it is immeasurable so you must identify the drivers of satisfaction maybe the voice of the customer first level is converted into drivers of satisfaction and drivers of satisfaction are converted into one or more measurable metrics which are called ctqs ctq stands for critical to quality if if the pain is experienced by the business leader then that we will, we are going to call it as ctb so see here your company is planning to uh, buy a machine and now the machine operator uh, or the customer because the one who is going to operate the machine is the customer so when you ask him what kind of machine you expect he says that should it should be you know uh, it should be easy to operate and easy to maintain now this is this is a voice of customer but probably internal customer because it's machine operator but what do he mean by that he want operational convenience he want ease of maintenance and he want the ease during modification maybe changing the setup and other things or some kind of component changing or parts changing these are called drivers of satisfaction and drivers of satisfaction again converted into uh, further uh, level for example the skill level an operator has to possess if he, if he is an unskilled operator can he operate the machine and then the difficulty level of setup but uh, slowly you have to drill down like this till you uh, get the statement in a measurable way i'll also give you know uh, several examples but what i want you to understand is a generic statement is should be converted into a specific statement in order to convert a generic statement into a specific statement you require drivers of satisfaction when the statement is generic it is hard to measure when you make it specific it becomes easy to measure so e the more specific and measurable uh, characteristics are called the ctqs and uh, so can you take the slide one two levels behind Sure. One more, one more. No, yep. Thank you. Right, and then uh, we'll see. See here one example. Not a lot of people are availing personal loan. And looking at the statement, can you tell me is it a voice of customer or voice of business? Voice of business. A uh, voice of business. Voice right. of business. Very good. So I must write voice of business here, but it doesn't matter. And now. in order to make this pain problem measurable you must identify drivers of satisfaction what actually you know uh, uh, satisfies the uh, no drives the satisfaction maybe if i want to get this problem uh, no to solve probably quick approval and then if i should be low less documentation so these are all the driver then what will happen more people will avail the personal loan isn't it so so quick approval means the processing time you currently take that is one metric which can reflect this problem am i correct and similarly lower interest rate and then tenure and number of documents that the applicant has to submit to avail a loan so these are all the you know metrics which you need to actually measure if you actually uh, optimize these uh, metrics and your problem will get solved right so if you really wanted to uh, measure the particular problem 
you need to drill it down, identify the drivers of satisfaction, then identify certain measurable metrics. Well, you will see, uh, let's see one more example. What this? Yeah, we'll take this. See here, now a customer says like this, I need a quality footwear. Now this is clearly voice of customer, right? Because customer uh, uses the product. And now what are the drivers of satisfaction? Suppose if you want to buy a footwear, maybe a shoe, right? And what are your expectations or what could be the drivers of satisfaction? Less, less price with high quality. This price is okay, I can measure, but what do you mean by equality? How can I measure? Again, it is vague. Yeah, comfortable, comfortable to the uh, Very user. Good. Fantastic. So, shoe should be lightweighted. It should be comfortable, comfortable to wear. It should be durable. It should be roomy enough. It should be stable. Of course, I should uh, say cost also. Right? This is only example. This is not cost. Now, each one, I should now measure. How can I measure the lightweightness of the shoe? The overall weight in grams. Exactly. The, whole, the entire shoe is weighing 200 grams, 300 grams, 350 grams. Now, no, I understand no, what the customer wants. If my competitor shoe is 300 grams, then I will make a shoe 250 grams. The customer will buy my, my shoe, isn't, isn't it? And comfortable. That's talking about the heel height, isn't it? Height to two is not comfortable. Two less also, it's not comfortable. They are looking at an optimum level. So now, and also sole, sole. Uh, material. Yes. Soul material, the softness it gives, is it? Very good. We need to identify drivers of satisfaction and then make it measurable, durable. How can I measure durability? How many kilometers I can run using your shoe? Mm -hmm. I purchased the shoe for 2000 rupees and uh, you, you are, you are, there is a specification which is saying that I can, I can run at least 3000 kilometers. Now I get an idea about the durability. Roomy enough. I should be able to move my fingers inside the shoe. How do I measure it? I measure it by measuring the contour width and the depth. And then it should be stable. The shoe should be stable. Whether I run it or walk, or use it for walking or use it for playing, it should be stable enough. That means customer is talking about heel, fl heel flatness. Do you now understand the way less specific statement of a customer it's converted into more specific and easy to measure metric by identifying the drivers of satisfaction. Is it clear to you? Yes, sir. Yes. So likewise, for any problem statement, if you talk to the customer, initially it will be a vague statement. Now you have to drill down. For drilling down, you identify the drivers of satisfaction. Then you will have one or more pain metric. So, so now you need to work on these things. So a customer, compli customer segment complains about 